Good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing? Uh, 1037 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, June 1st, 2020, A.D. Roman calendar year. So, I've been looking at the protests lately. Uh, last 24 hours, I've been looking at the protests. Um, I have had a chance to look at the protesting going on here and uh, at so-called Lorraine County. Different little cities and everything. And I'm seeing people say, you know, because some people are feeling like they're being criticized for People are feeling like they're being criticized for protesting, um, you know, and, they're, and, they're, and their logic is, their logic is they're protesting because something has to change. I've seen people, you know, even go out their way and say, we're protesting because new laws has to be created, right? New laws has to be created in order for there to be equality for so-called black people, things of this nature, not getting killed by the police, all of this stuff. And I think, I, it's not what I think, I know for a fact that that's where we are falling short at. That's where so-called black people are falling short at, is that you think that, unfortunately, that you are in a position for them to create laws for you, um, and this is what I've been trying to get my people to comprehend for years. They don't create laws for Negroes, black, colored, African Americans, minorities. They create codes and policies because the law does not apply to you. And one of the main reasons why the law does not apply to you is because you refuse to answer up to your National descent name. You refuse to recognize with law and history being presented to you, with law and history being made available to you via the World Wide Web. You are refusing to recognize that black is a political status. For instance, you go to the hood, right? They got the one dude. He's he's. You know, we'll use this term. He's the the ho ass nigga, right? So everybody treats the 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 uh the ho ass nigga in the hood like uh he's nobody. He gets a specific treatment that comes with being having the status of ho ass nigga. He gets a, a specific treatment. People go in his pockets, they take his weed, they take his chain, they take his phone, and this happens to him every day, every other day. This is what's going on in the hood. Because that's his status in the hood. And with his particular status, that's what the treatment is going to be for a ho-ass nigga in the hood. Now, let's equivalent that to being black. All right? Black is the ho-ass nigga. I'm just going to tell you. That's what the status is. So, if you're identified with being black, right, and you do voting... You go out and you vote. You criticize your other brothers and sisters who don't believe in the political process... Um, it's obvious that you don't believe in the political process as well. It's very obvious because you can't sit around and tell me you're doing all this voting, but then you go protest because you're expecting a political action to happen when you're not even taking the proper political action. If you're voting, you're telling me that you believe you have some type of political authority, some type of political power. I see people who identify with slave names staying there. They're, they're protesting. They're laying down on the ground. They're burning stuff because laws need to be changed. And it's like, but you vote. Don't you comprehend that each state where you vote in has a process for getting laws or statutes put on the books? And if you look at the flow chart for Ohio, it doesn't say anything whatsoever about protesting, tearing shit the fuck down. Doesn't say anything about that whatsoever. I'm literally looking at the Ohio legislature website right now and I'm looking at the flow chart and there's nothing in here that says anything about protesting to get laws, new laws, new statutes put on the books. And this is why it is hard f for f for people to respect us.
because there's a civilized way of doing things. And we swear and we will swear up and down for the last 50, 60 years that we have been taking all the proper political processes in order to make sure things change for us. And we fucking have not. If you just stop at voting, if you just stop at voting and you think that's all it takes, then you have lost. OK, you see the homosexual community, for instance. In the last 20 years, they have more laws put on the books for them than so-called black people have in the last 60 fucking years. Did you see gay people running around burning buildings down? Probably was protesting, but were they vandalizing buildings? Anything like that? They was running around here getting killed just for being gay. Were they doing anything like that? No, they followed the political process. It was a political process that they followed and they know that the Negro mentality is to get angry, go outside, march for 5.7 miles and tear shit up and then expect for something to change. That's not how it goes. You have to make one political action first that you have not done. And I noticed this is you have not claimed you have not you have not claimed your free national name your national decent name let me give you an example of a national decent name right polish he comes here he gets citizenship he's polish american right german he comes here he gets citizenship was his free national name german german american Japanese guy comes over here What's his free national name because he comes from Japan gets citizenship Japanese American Huh What about the people from England they come over here English American They have free national names If you have a free national name you can be recognized by the governments of the world in the national government of where you domicile but no, we want to keep forcing, we want to live up under the slave identity and try to force these people to create laws for you when law does not apply to those who do not have free national names. There's only policies, codes, and programs for that ass that have to be renewed after so many years, just like you're voting. Since you don't have a free national name, you're not recognized as a free national people. So what do they have to do? They have to grant you a privilege to vote. To make you seem a part of the 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 the, the American cloth when you're not because you refuse to answer up to your free national name, your national descent name. You refuse. You want to keep pushing this black stuff on the civilized world, you want to keep pushing this slave identity on the civilized world, and you want them to create laws for things that are chattel property right now to this day. If I go buy a new bowl for these cats in this house, go buy a new bowl for these cats, that's my bowl, because these cats are property. Go buy your dog a new collar, that's your collar, why? Because the dog is your property. So let me read something to y'all real quick, real fast. This is from a man by the name of Noble Drew Ali. I know a lot of y'all don't know about him because he's never brought up in black history because he shouldn't be because he's not a black man. He did not identify with being European Christian colonial property. I'm going to read something from him and listen to what he says. He says, I love my people and I desire their unity and mine back to their own national and divine standard because day by day, listen, because day by day, they have been violating the national and constitutional laws of their government by what? By claiming names and principles that are unconstitutional. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's read that again. It says here. I love my people and I desire their unity and mine back to their own national and divine standard because day by day they have been violating the national and constitutional laws 
of their government by claiming names and the principles that are unconstitutional. What names are unconstitutional? Negro, black, African-American. Those are unconstitutional. Those are not recognized. And I have to keep telling you this. When you go, and I just told a magistrate this when I was in court about a probably a little bit less than a month. See, because you're trying to identify me with being black, and I know for a fact that you as a magistrate, or even if you was a judge, you are not judicially bound to even recognize what black is outside of it being property. You should have seen the European woman's face. They were shocked that I was even in the courtroom and knew that. You are not judicially bound to recognize black as anything other than property. Oh, well, oh, 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 oh. This is exactly what I told them in a room full of people that y'all call white people. Another unconstitutional name. Europeans is what they are. Polish American, German American, Irish American, English American, Russian American. They're Europeans in a room full of Europeans. People y'all call white people sit there and they mouth dropped all the way to the core of the fucking earth. When I told them that because they know that you don't know that. They know it's a billion of y'all that look just like me and they know that you don't know that and they get over on you every day. But let's go on. And it says. Um, we are violating national and constitutional laws of our government by claiming names, and principles. What principles are that trying to have actual de jour law apply to you in the status that you are doing now? That's an unconstitutional principle. Trying to have laws passed to have you recognized as part of the human family when you identify with not being a part of the human family, that's unconstitutional. I'm going to keep it real. You keep trying to force your uncivil, your uh, lack of civility on the civilized world with these slave names and identities. And you expect the rest of the world who have free national names and national descent names to create laws for you as if you are part of the human family when you refuse to even be a part of the human family. You don't want to be a part of the human family. You want to keep identifying with names that slaveholders gave you. And then you expect somebody to create laws for you when you telling the whole fucking world, hey, I'm still property. I'm still property. I'm still property. I'm black, 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 the black man, the black woman, the black child. I'm still property. That's what you're telling them. That's what you're telling them. Nobody's going to create any new laws for you. You are considered less than in your current stature, which means you only have codes, policies and programs, privileges. Let's go on. So Noble Drali goes on to say, because this is a message that he wrote to his people. If Italians, Greeks, English, Chinese, Japanese, Turks and Arabs are forced to proclaim their free national names and religion before the national government of the United States. The okay, look, again, it says if Greeks, English, Chinese, Japanese, Turks, and Arabians are forced to proclaim their free national names and religion before the constitutional government of the United States of America, it is no more than right that the law should be enforced upon all other American citizens alike. Have you went up to the United States and, 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 and declared your free national name, your national descent name? No, because you're black, which is about 400, 500 years old. There is nothing for that. There is no national descent. You ain't done that. But you want to tell them they got to create laws for you. Right. Let's keep going on. It says in all other governments, when a man is born and raised there and asked for his national descent name. And if he fails to give it, he is, this is what you're seeing now, misused, imprisoned, or exiled. Any group of people that fail to answer up to the constitutional standards of law by name and principles, because to be a citizen of any government, check this out. This is how you know you're not citizens. And this is why I call y'all on y'all shit every day with this black shit. Let's go. Because to be a citizen of any government, you must claim your national decent name. I'm going to say that again. Because to be a citizen of any government, 
you must claim your national descent name. So I have to again ask you, y'all who are identifying with Negro, black, colored, African-American, what is your national descent name? You want to keep dancing around this shit. What is your national decent name, black man and woman? Please tell me. What's your national decent name? What is your national decent name? I'm going to read this again. It says any group of people that fail to answer up to the constitutional standards of law by name and principles. Because to be a citizen of any government, you must claim your national decent name. Because they place their trust upon issues and names formed by their forefathers. So I have to ask you, is black a name or an issue that was formed by your forefathers? I have to ask you, is black an issue or a name that was formed by your forefathers? I need to I have to read this again because I see children in adult bodies. Here goes another term. And it, this is really what it is. This is this is the position that my people are in here. Functioning retards. Some people don't like to hear that term, but that's what it is. Functioning retards. It's the it's the fact not to be disrespectful. That's what it is. Let's go over this again. Let's see. He says here. Any group of people that fail to answer up to the constitutional standards of law by name and principles, because to be a citizen of any government, you must claim your national decent name because they place their trust upon issues and names formed by their forefathers. You, my people, are in violation. You are not running around with the names of your forefathers. You don't have the national decent name of your forefathers. You have the identity that was given to you by slaveholders, and you even have the slaveholders' last name, and you talking about people need to protest to pass new laws for you. No, when they get sick of your shit, they're going to come out and bust your uncivilized ass head out there, and then they're going to feel sorry for you and create some more codes and policies for the next 25 to 50 fucking years so you can just shut the hell up. That's exactly what they're going to do. That's what they've been doing. This is exactly what they're going to do. They're going to let you protest. They're going to bust your fucking head up out here. Then they're going to feel sorry for your uncivilized ass. And then they're going to create codes, policies, programs, more vouchers for your ass for the next 25 to 50 years. So you shut the fuck up. That's it. Because you're the one in violation. And since they benefit, benefit from your, you being in violation so much, they're not going to tell you this, even though it's right there in the books. They benefit from you being in violation. Oh, fuck my ancestors. I'm Negro, black, colored, and African-American, and I'm Johnson. I'm Jones. I'm Williams. I'm, I'm Harrison. I'm Smythe. I'm Johnston. I'm Hendricksburg. You're in violation. You are in violation. Even the Chinese here, if they take on a European name, right, he's still going to be Bartholomew Chan. Bartholomew Hung Young Pak. He's still going to be that. They've been here. There's Chinese people, families that have been here for over 200 years. They still got their Chinese names. They still practice their Chinese culture. You, you just do whatever has been given to you in slavery and you swear it's yours. Let's keep going on. And this is no disrespect. This has to be called out. You have to be called out on your shit because somebody is coddling you fucking babies, you children in adult bodies. Somebody is coddling your ass and allowing you to go out and carry on with this misbehavior. Let's go on. This is this is what else he said. This man said this almost over 100 years ago. He said the word Negro. Negro, I just want to let y'all know, is Latin for the Anglo-Saxon word black. So when I'm saying Negro, you need to know that I'm saying black. I'm saying black. All right. The word Negro, which translates to black, deludes in the Latin language to the word nigger. This is what he's saying. OK, so you can't go out here, protest, beat up these Europeans because they call you a nigger when you've been calling yourself a nigger the whole time. Just using an Anglo-Saxon word. 
The word Negro deludes in Latin language to the word nigger. The same as the word colored deludes to anything that is painted, varnished, and dyed. And every nation must bear a national descent name of their forefathers, because honoring thy forefathers and thy mothers, your days will be lengthened upon the earth. That's why you out here getting your fucking head bust like this. This is why you are creating baton head eaters. That's what you're creating. You're creating people who have perfectly shaped heads for batons and bodies for police bullets. You're in violation. Every nation must bear a national descent name of their forefathers because honoring thy forefathers and thy mothers, your days will be lengthened upon this earth. That's in your Bible. That's even in your Bible. You've been given these keys and you ignore them. You've been given these keys and you ignore them. That's why your sons and your daughters are out here getting a fucking head bust. And you think going to tear up some buildings and lay down on the ground and say, I can't breathe like that's going to do something. It is a joke. Period. Same people that vote, but won't take. Let's keep going on. This has to be called out. So-called black man and woman has to be called out for their shit by their own people. Period. Let's keep going on. I'm going to say this again. And every nation must bear a national descent name of their forefathers because honoring thy fathers and thy mothers, your days will be lengthened upon this earth. But your babies are dying younger and younger out here, ain't they? Hmm. I wonder if it's because they're being brought in this, in this world, not honoring their foremothers and forefathers. So their days upon this earth have been shortened. Shortened. Let's keep going. These names have never been recognized by any true American citizen of this day. W what are these names? Negro, black, colored, African-American. African-American got a little bit of standing, a little bit, but it's still color of law, too, because they placed it up under the, the 14th Amendment. Even if it did have some type of good standing back in the early 18 or mid 1800s, late, by the time they threw up under the 14th Amendment, it was done. So African-American is just as fraud as the rest of them. These names have never been recognized by any true American citizens of this day. It says through your free national name, through your free national name, through your free national name, you are known and recognized by all nations of the earth that are recognized by said national government in which they live. This is why you're not recognized. This is why there's no laws to protect you. Through your free national name, you are known and recognized by all nations of the earth that are recognized by said national government in which they live. Goes on to say, this is where you get your denizenship from, because some of y'all think that you are a citizen here and you're not. You get denizenship. OK, the 14th Amendment, that's where so-called black people get their denizenship from. The 14th and 15th Amendments brought the North and South in unit, placing the Southerners who were at that time without power with the constitutional body of power. And at that time, this is a history lesson, 1865, the free national constitution that was in force since 1774 declared all men equal and free. And if all men are declared by the free national constitution to be free and equal, since that constitution has never been changed, there is no need for the application of the 14th and 15th amendments for the salvation of our people and citizens. Yet, where do you find yourself placed at today, so-called black man and woman? Under the 14th amendment. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go on. He says here, so there isn't but one supreme issue for my people to to use to redeem that which was lost. And that is through the above statements. So I just went through some basic stuff that would really help resolve some of the issues that we deal with. And we can't even get that together. Then the lion and the lamb can lie down together in yonder hills and neither will be harmed because love, truth, peace, freedom and justice will be reigning in this land. 
In those days, the United States will be one of the greatest civilized and prosperous governments of the world. But if the above principles are not carried out by the citizens and by my people in this government, the worst is yet to come. This man said this almost 100 years ago. But if the above principles are not carried out by my people in this government, the worst is yet to come because the great God of the universe is not pleased with the works that are being performed in North America by my people. What did he say? He said that the most high is not pleased. What? The Most High is not pleased with the works that are being performed in North America by my people. Let's go. And this great sin must be removed from, to, from the land to save it from enormous earthquakes, diseases, etc. Ooh, look at that. You know, because some people be all super duper spiritual and they be like, the earth is getting sick. Yeah, the earth is tired of your nigga shit. And somebody knew this almost 100 years ago and told you this, and you're still in violation 100 years later. Look what he said. Look. Because the great God of the universe is not pleased with the works that are being performed in North America by my people, so-called black man and woman. And this great sin, this great sin that you are, which means transgression of the law must be removed from the land to save it from enormous earthquakes and diseases. See, all this nigga shit that we do, it puts negative energy out there into the universe. In the earth, she can't take it. She's tired. So she's going to start producing earthquakes, natural disasters, diseases. Because this nigga shit is getting old. Because I figured this out years ago <clears throat> when I started studying. I said the world is in the, the mess that it's in because of the so-called black man and woman fell the fuck off. That's why. That's why. And if, if you feel, because I see some of y'all with this old uh, pseudo-magical spiritual power, I'm a witch shit, right? I see y'all do all, all of that. Then you need to take responsibility if you're that mystical and you're that spiritual and you're dealing with the stones and the sage and all that, then you need to take responsibility for the earth being in the position that it is in right the fuck now. It's your fault because you was running the earth. Yeah, so-called black man and woman. That's how far you've fallen. You were controlling and running the whole earth, feeding the whole earth. Now you done fell off so, so far. The earth is in a bad place because of your ass. Let me read this again. Cause you the one that's in, in you the one that's in violation. I know y'all ain't gonna like this shit, cause you don't like to be called out for your shit. You like to play the victim. You like to play the victim. May like it's everybody else and not take responsibility. That's why I said, are you gonna take responsibility for putting the European in slavery first? You sit here and get up and act like your ass is a big victim. Why don't white people like us? Are you gonna take responsibility for putting them in slavery first and selling their women as sex slaves in your harems? Are you gonna do that? Are you going to take responsibility for that shit first that you were a fucking first slave master? Are you going to take responsibility for that? Because that's what this all boils down to at the end of the day. Taking some sort of fucking responsibility for why you're in the position that you're in. Are you going to take responsibility and apologize to the so-called white man for putting him in slavery and selling his daughters as sex slaves in goddamn harems? Are you going to do that? Huh? Because, you know, they done made a public apology. They done made a public apology through Congress. They done made all the Vatican has made a public apology. But guess who ain't made a public apology for being the first slave master? The so-called black man who wants to play a victim and swear he's so woke, but didn't even know that he was the first slave master. Huh? You going to make a public apology? This is karma right here. Your ass is dealing with. And maybe if we opened up some damn books. Huh, we would know. Part of this of what you're dealing with, this oppression that you're dealing with, it's karmic debt. Period. Because you were the first slave master. Huh? You not, Now you know why they hate your ass. You were the first slave master. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh...
Okay. So it says here, I'm going to skip some. So it says here, so I, the prophet, am hereby calling aloud with a divine plea to all true American citizens to help me remove this great sin, which has been committed and is being practiced by my people in the United States of America, because they know it is not the true and divine way. And without understanding, they have fallen from the true light into utter darkness of sin. And there is not a nation on earth today that will recognize them socially religiously, politically, economically. Aren't those the problems that you're dealing with today? You're dealing with a social issue because you're in the social political construct of Negro, black, colored, African-American, which is the divine sin against your ancestors. It's a sin all day, right? Then <coughs> religiously, all right? They've been talking about your so-called African spiritual systems like they ain't shit forever. So your religion is not respected. Politically, you're not respected. You have no political rights. And economically, the only thing you can do is spend a trillion dollars a year and not own shit.com. The great sin. You are living in sin. And you're bringing your babies up in sin. Why? Because you don't even want to honor your foremothers and forefathers by name, creed, and deed. You want to wrestle. Somebody tell you ain't black. You want to get back on Facebook and you want to double down with the shit to try to be a little smart ass and go ahead. Be a little smart ass because here in this household and in other households across the so-called United States, we are teaching our babies that they're not Negro, blacks, colors, African-Americans. And that is names for chattel property. That's names for property. And the only thing that's created for them is policies, codes, and 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 uh, uh, whatever other word I had before, but I forgot it. Policies, codes, and uh, and voucher programs. Policies, codes, and programs. CPP. Codes, policies, and programs. That's it. That's all you're gonna get. No law. Period. Because you are in sin. But I already know. This is going to be ignored because nobody wants to take responsibility. We all going to play the victim. We want to go. I'm going to tell y'all, I seen some folks laying on the ground yesterday. And I felt like I probably would be going to hell because I seriously laughed. I laughed very hard. And I know that if I laughed, these people that's in power, they're laughing too. Because we're the ones in violation. Like, period. And ask yourselves. Why are there other people in the so-called United States that don't go through what we go through? What's the difference between the African, the African that comes from Africa and the so-called African-American? What's the difference? I'll tell you, because the African that comes to America from Africa has a free national name, has a national descent name, has a tribal name, has a language, has a cultural religion. So they know, yeah, he's a part of the human family. All day. All day. Period. You think that? Damn, why Africans don't get shot and get their head bust like we do? Now, no, 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 get the thing. To you, the uneducated, right, on this particular subject matter, these are supposed to be black people too. How come we're not seeing any, any uh, Medulla Umbagalas or none of that getting their head bust out here, getting shot by the police? How come we don't we're not seeing any of that? It's only those so-called black people that identify with slave terms and live according to slave principles that are still getting what? Slave treatments. Then got the nerve to get up with these slave names, the slave status and, and say, y'all got to create some new laws to protect us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> OK, so let's keep going on. <clears throat> It says here, it says in their present condition of their endeavorment in which they themselves try to. Wow. Listen, this is what Noble Dr. Ali said in their present condition of their endeavorment in which they themselves try to force upon a civilized world. Let's read this over again. So I, the prophet, am hereby calling aloud with a divine plea. He was begging to y'all. 
to all true American citizens to help me remove this great sin which has been committed and is being practiced by my people, so-called Negro black colored, in the United States of America because they know it is not the true and divine way and without understanding, they have fallen from the true light into utter darkness of sin. And there is not a nation on earth today that will recognize them socially, religiously, politically, or economically, etc. In their present condition of their endeavorment in which they themselves try to force upon a civilized world. This is why you're getting the fight back. Because you're trying to force your uncivilized principles, your uncivilized names in ways upon a civilized world. You want the rest of the world who have nationalities, free national descent names. You want them to accept you as being a part of the human family when you've totally abandoned your national descent name. And I'm going to say it's abandonment because all this information has been out here. If I was able to go find it, I know you was able to go find it. Here we go. Here he goes again. He says, my people, they will not refrain from their sinful ways of action and their deeds have brought Jim Crowism. D listen, this is a man talking about you. This is a brother talking about what he has seen with his own people. They will not refrain from their sinful ways of action and their deeds have brought Jim Crowism, segregation and everything that brings harm to human beings on earth. And they fought the Southern Southerner for all these great use, misuses. But I have traveled in the South and have examined conditions there. And it is the works of my people continuously practicing things which bring dishonor, disgrace and disrespect to any nation that lives the life. So what did he say? And they fought the Southerner for all these great misuses. So what he's saying is we were fighting them to put these policies on us and make them recognize us under these slave codes and statuses after a certain after after they had already beat us in the head with it we started fighting to keep it after they placed these names on us and these identities on us that we knew weren't ours and we didn't want after a while we became docile so we started fight how you gonna tell me i ain't black didn't y'all just see that with biden didn't you see biden just say well if you don't vote for me you ain't black and then what do people start doing they start trying to uh, trying to validate their slave identity. He can't tell me I ain't black because I ain't vote for him. This is what you, and this is the same thing our people did with the Southerners. We started fighting to keep these privileges in this denizenship. OK, he says, and I am hereby calling on all true American citizens for moral support and finance to help me in my great missionary work to bring my people out of darkness into marvelous light. I ain't done yet. <clears throat> Here it is. Here goes another message this man made. He says, our divine and national movement stands for the specific grand principles of love, truth, peace, freedom and justice. And I, the prophet, am applying to all loyal, faithful Moors members and the American citizens to help me in my great uplifting of fallen humanity among the Asiatic race and nation. Look, just drop the jewel on you. If you don't know what your race is, it's Asiatic. It's not black. It's Asiatic. OK, that's the proper term you will use as far as race among the Asiatic race and nation. For I have suffered much and severely in the past through misunderstanding of what this movement was dedicated to. It is the great God, Allah. And you can use whatever name you want for, for whoever you worship alone that guides the destiny of this divine national movement. I know all true American citizens. Here he goes again, are identified by national descent names to answer and apply to the free national constitution of this free national republic of the United States of America. That's why I am calling on all true national citizens to help me morally and financially in my great work. I am doing to help this national government for for without a free national name with a decent flag of your fathers. There is not a national divine title of the government in which we live. This is from your true and divine prophet and to all American and foreign sympathizers. You see what the issue is? Part of the issue is a free national name. Now, I'll be realistic and I say this because a lot of people say, so you saying if we stop calling ourselves black, that means they're going to stop uh shooting us and treating us 
No, that's not what I'm saying. That's just a part of the process. Because once you start dealing with a free national name and nationality, then you start dealing with free national government principles. Then you start enforcing certain things. Then they say, well, yeah, we can't treat these people like this. These are Negro, blacks, and colors. Let me give you an example. I remember years ago, <clears throat> I was watching Roots, right? And uh, they would have the scene to where Chicken George would go in town and the, the, the one year pin there, you know, they knew the status of Negroes so they could treat them any way they wanted. He would make them get them water, things of this nature. So one day, Chicken George, after he get his freedom, he goes back to the same place in town. So the European talking crazy, he let the European know, you can't talk to me like that, dude. Oh, you nigger. Da, 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 da. So he pulled out his freedom papers. As soon as he pulled out his freedom papers and he gave them to the racist guy, you should have seen his face. He had to shut his mouth. He had to shut his mouth and totally change how he was talking to that man. And he realized, I can't talk to him like this no more. <laughs> But these Negroes that come up in here, they ain't got this paperwork. I'm going to do their ass in all day. All day. So I just wanted to make it clear here that um, if you're not if you don't have a free national descent name. Nationality, just to start off with, you're not honoring your foremothers and your forefathers in name, creed and deed, then you might as well stop protesting laying on the ground looking foolish, talking about I can't breathe when you obviously can because you're saying I can't breathe, okay? All this marching, holding up signs, you might as well stop it because at the end of the day, you're the one that's in violation and these people with the way that they are treating you are only doing what the policies and the codes say that they can do. You're black, they have Christian black codes for you. Negro African American, they got codes and policies for you to say this is how you're supposed to be dealt with. This is how you're supposed to be treated. This is your rank in this society. And you just don't want to shed it. You just want to fight for it all day. Your black lives matter. It's a goddamn lie. It's a lie because the blackness is not even recognized by the human family whatsoever at all. And it was placed on you by slaveholders anyway. And you fight for it now. You fight for it like it's yours. You really want to fight for it to keep it in. Double down on it. When somebody tells you that you're not black, you go double down on enforcing your slave identity. Like you're really being smart. you just looking foolish as hell. You know how many people I see, they'll listen, they'll be on this live right now. They'll listen to this live. They'll see all the scholarly sources. They'll listen to all the scholarly sources that I just went through. And they little ignorant asses will get right back on here on Facebook and say, I'm black and black life. They're literally like double down on it as if they're trying to be smart to me. And I just laugh at their little ignorant ass all day. Like <laughs> just a damn fool. It's a damn fool. And it's a shame that it's more it's more of y'all out there that love you slave identity, slave principles than it is of us of us out here that's actually woke up and know what's going on on why you're being treated the way that you're being treated. It's a shame because some of us have children, daughters and sons that got to marry, come into contact, fall in love and marry your sleepy head ass babies and pull them right back into the grave with them. That's why I tell my daughter all day. I say, if you get one of these motherfuckers, he better know something. You better educate his ass because I refuse to accept you getting with a nigga that's going to pull you right back into the damn fucking grave. The mausoleum talking this black shit. Dishonoring your ancestors. Period. I guarantee you, wherever you go, people are like, well, Africans, they call themselves black. Yeah. Anywhere you see people that look like us and they call themselves black, you can guarantee that European Christian colonialism has been there. You can't even prove me wrong. Anywhere in the world where there are people who are calling themselves black, you can guarantee that European Christian colonialism has been there and that's why they call themselves black. That's why. You are in violation. Let me find this other part I was looking for. Because uh, it was a part that he brought up to where he said how you have been voting under a privilege. You've been voting under a privilege. So this is something that this man said almost 100 years ago that you've been voting under a privilege. I may have already read it or I may have looked over it. But you have been in violation by voting even under a privilege. 
Your voting is even a privilege. So if you're going to take part in the political process, you better take part in it fully or just just leave it alone and just go ahead and keep cre creating uh, baton meat food for the police. Keep creating bodies for police bullets to eat. Because if y'all ain't about to wake up, y'all might as well stop it. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. For real, for real, for real, for real. Stop playing. I can't believe the level of ignorance that I'm seeing displayed by my people by the statements that they make that they think rioting is going to have any laws created. And these are people that vote like y'all haven't went to your state legislator to see how laws are created in the state. Have you maybe even got a group together to start trying to get a law created to get something put on the books? Like, have you even tried that at all? At all. And I guess, you know, in the current status that our people hold and the current rank that you hold right now in society, I guess it really wouldn't even matter anyway, because that part of the political process wouldn't even be available to you anyway. That part of the political process is not even made available to Negro, black, colored, African-Americans. It's not even made available to you, period. It's not even available to you. So I don't know what's going on, but y'all playing y'all in violation all day. You can keep doubling down on this slave identity and these slave principles trying to force your great sin in violation on the civilized world. All you can expect is more batons to come across your head, more mace to grace your face and more bullets to test your chest. I'm up out of here.